All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. We're set up and ready to do another valve lash here on a 4Z E1 2.6 liter Isuzu. And uh, before we begin, I'll just show you what uh, what I've got going on here. Okay, so I've uh, set the engine to uh, top dead center on uh, number one cylinder. And in order to do that, uh, I'm using my timing marks uh, down by my harmonic balancer. And so I've just uh, gotten my uh, paint marker out and marked the notches. And uh, the first mark over here is zero degrees, 12 degrees over here. And I, you know, I have heard some some fuss on uh, these marks and not to trust them. And and to be honest with you, I I can't really figure that out. Uh, there's some obvious signs if somebody's been playing with the timing cover or if the the timing belt cover has damage. Um, it does go in behind the harmonic balancer, so you can look down to the bottom, over to the left, and see if it's still got its nut holding it in there. And uh, uh, once you get the upper cover removed, you can see these seams and whether or not they're lining up with the backing plate, which of course is cast a little rough, but you know it, it has other uh, timing points on it that we use for, for the cam and for the timing belt, and uh, right down here on, on the bottom of the pulley. And so uh, to see that I'm up at top dead center here, I've, uh, I like to use a pencil in the first, uh, so I've got all my spark plugs pulled, and in the first cylinder, I can just put the pencil down there. If, uh, if, I, if I turn it and forget the pencil, it's not going to cause any damage to the threads. It will also make a snapping sound and let me know that uh, I need to pull it out or back off. Anyways, uh, the, the rubber eraser on the bottom also gives me some telltale signs of, of carbon off the top of the piston. And, uh, and so the other uh, way to tell here is, of course, to make sure that we're not uh, 180 degrees out. And we get to the distributor in the back, and we want to see the rotor. And the rotor is literally pointing down towards this EGR tube. Okay, and that is position number one inside the cap because if you look at the cap, you'll see a lot of them are numbered. And uh, number one is this top guy up here. So when it's facing down like that, right, it turns out to be this corner here. So if you're pointing up here where the number one wire actually looks like it's going to connect, then that's you're actually pointing to number four. And the other telltale sign, is right here on the camshaft itself. You want to look at the lobes down under here and see that the lobe is pointing away from the tappets. And so you see the lobe on, on the intake here, it's down on this side, and the exhaust is down towards the bottom on that side. And that's top dead center. So we should also have uh, some loose tappets now. So our intake is, is loose and I can feel the movement just lifting up and down and also on number two the intake and then we should have the exhaust on number three which uh, for some reason is firm to the touch right now and so I'll just check the cam see where the cam lobe is and it's pointing down away from number three exhaust and number one exhaust is also tight so for some reason these exhaust valves are too tight and I just finished checking with my handy dandy feeler gauge which, uh, you know, I've got my uh, little setup of friends over here, my 12mm uh, my wrench, and I'll tell you, these little curved ones sure save me a lot of times. So I like that one. Got my uh, little uh, flathead screwdriver and my feeler gauge, which, again, if you didn't catch the last video, that's uh, 0 .008 inches or 0 .20 millimeters. So point 20 is what I set at, and that is what the factory recommends. Um, the Chilton's is actually uh, 1525 as we went over, and so um, I'm going to crack those, and uh, I'm going to tighten these ones, and I'm going to uh, loosen this one and get it set to 20, as well as number three, and then I'm going to rotate with my uh, ratchet down here on the main uh, harmonic balancer pulley. And I've got my 24 mil socket down there, which doesn't seem to want to come out to show you. And don't forget that socket on there. That's uh, when you go to turn over the engine. Um, and removing the intake was, was fairly easy. So uh, I'm going to put the intake back on uh, after I get everything set. 
and uh, then I will uh, pull out the uh, timing scope and check my uh, my timing to see if it is uh, 12 degrees or I'll just adjust my distributor and I'll share uh, today's little uh, tip with you too on these uh, cap and rotors I like to use a little exacto blade like that and you can scrape the points when they sit around they, bu they build up a little uh, corrosion on the inside of the points and you can just get in there and scrape those clean with that also the tip of your rotor and get that nice and clean and make sure that you're getting a good spark sometimes you'll get a little bit of scale that pops out right off of there so uh, yeah I find these little exacto blades very handy uh, anyways I hope that helps and uh, good luck with your engine keep the rubber side down troopers